Well, good Monday morning to you folks. I hope you are doing well. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I can honestly say to you that I did not have a good night's rest. My mind goes back to uh, March of 2020 when COVID came on the scene and I started doing these devotions because we didn't have church for uh, some services in the building. So we were trying to reach those people who would watch or could watch online. And um, of course it was new then, no one really knew what to expect from it. Um, that was in March come, uh, I think it was, uh, um, November of that year I had it and had pneumonia with it and I continued to try to sing and, uh, and do a daily devotion uh, through that, not knowing I had pneumonia, but I just figured singing would be a good exercise for my lungs. Since then I've had it uh, one other time until uh, this week, <laughs> this past week, um, my wife and I celebrated 38 years, um, together and, uh, I don't know where she picked it up at, but she tested positive and, uh, what a, what a gift, right? Um, to give. So no matter what I look like today, I don't feel well. You will hear that, uh, in the song but God is faithful, and uh, just as before, we'll come through it and keep marching on. I'm one of those people that I hate to, I hate to cancel things. I hate to, I hate to not do things when I tell people. But um, we had a, a young man come and preach at our church yesterday, and um, Travis Groves, and I watched him online and watched his wife and his sister-in-law sing there at the end. And they did a great job. It was a great message. You can go back and watch that on our Facebook page if you like. But I've been looking forward to being in service with him. Hadn't seen him for a while. He's living in uh, North Carolina now. And was unable to go. Um, but uh, it is what it is. I will uh, will bounce back and be able to see uh, him again sometime. I'm going to read one verse of scripture to you. And then I'm going to attempt to sing this song. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Psalm 118, 1. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. <laughs> Aren't you glad that his mercy does, just doesn't endure for a little while? Um, a year, um, months, weeks, hours, but his mercy endureth forever. And I'm thankful for that. No matter what comes our way in this life, um, troubles come, trials come. Um, before this uh, episode, I've been having a little bit of uh, difficulty uh, with with some other issues and um, and all that stuff. There's nothing you can do but turn it over to God and allow him uh, to help you with it. Jesus cares about you. He loves you. And you know what? Whether or not uh, you understand or know this, there are other people that love you and care for you. And sometimes Satan's um, way to battle us the strongest is to, to make us feel like we're all alone, that no one cares. Well, that's not the case. Well, I sing this song in E. Mm -mm. I tried it in D. Mm -mm. So we're going to try it in C. Now to you, that may mean nothing, but uh, I'm just trying to get it out. Um, hopefully it'll be a blessing to you. Once I thought no one cared If I lived or died I spent my life searching For a place to hide Drifting in this world Like a ship lost at sea 
Then I learned Jesus cares what happens to me. Yes, Jesus cares what happens to me. He opened my eyes and he made me see. He lifted my burden and set my soul free. Yes, Jesus cares what happens to me. When I stand before the throne on that glorious day, I'll wait patiently until he turns my way. Then I'll kneel and I'll praise him for his mercy on me. For I know Jesus cares what happens to me. Yes, Jesus cares what happens to me. He opened my eyes and he made me see. He lifted my burdens and set my soul free. Yes, Jesus cares what happens to me. Folks, I hope you understand that he does care. He cares about you. He cares about what happens to you. He cares about the struggles you go through. I'm not going to tell you, you will always have everything you want, uh, but he will take care of you. Lord, as we come to you, God, I pray that you would watch over and bless, Lord. You know, dear God, the needs of those who are, as I am today, unable to get out and to go among others. And God, there are people like that that live every day. They're in their home. Maybe they watch this. Maybe they can't get out. Maybe they can't get out and go to church. That's the whole purpose that I started doing this anyhow. God, I just pray that you would bless something said or done today would be an encouragement to them. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you Tuesday.